there! My name is Haley Albright and I am one of the education facilitators for Skills Canada Alberta. Our job is to go around to junior highs and high schools across the province and this year we are now involved in the recruitment process for post-secondary students such as yourselves. Now you are all here because you have made the decision to pursue a career in the trades or technologies which is why your wonderful instructors have chosen to share this Skills Alberta presentation with you today. Our organization has something to offer you as you are developing your skill set. We have some awesome programs that begin as young as junior high, but the program we're going to be focusing on here today is our flagship competition for trades and technologies. I'm going to be referencing this competition throughout the presentation as we are here to show you why you should get involved. First, I wanted to start by talking about the skills movement, which is where employers are placing more value in the development of skills that are essential to your success in your chosen career path. These include communication skills, problem solving, adaptability, and many others. You all are unique in the fact that you are already pursuing a trade or technology. Now, we are all aware that these are foundational and essential jobs that support our economy. There are over 300 skilled trades across Canada. They can be broken down into four sectors, construction, manufacturing, services, and transportation, which is how we organize them in our competitions. We're going to quickly go through the different areas that are available for you to compete in. Now, we know that you are taking specific classes at your post-secondary institution. However, it's possible that you know someone pursuing another one of these areas that could possibly want to compete as well. So let's get started with those trades. Let's start with services. We have baking, aesthetics, hairstyling, and culinary arts. In manufacturing, we have industrial mechanics and millwrights, precision machining, mechatronics, and CNC machining. In transportation, there is aerospace technology, automobile technology, auto body repair, car painting, and heavy vehicle technology. And finally, in the construction sector, we have welding and sheet metal work, carpentry and cabinet making, landscaping and gardening, as well as bricklaying, electrical installations, industrial control and refrigeration and air conditioning, and then steam fitter, pipe fitter, sprinkler systems, plumbing and mechanical insulation. Now I did mention as well that we have some technologies that are available for post-secondary students as well. So those areas that we have are graphic design, IT network systems administration, IT office software applications, and architectural technology and design. Now obviously our job here is to create that initial spark and to show you that there are a number of awesome benefits of participating in these competitions. Some of the perks are different travel opportunities as well as some possible monetary benefits. So let's take a look first at our scholarships. As far as scholarships go, we have three available. We have the World Skills Provincial Champion Scholarship, Dorothy O'Neill Skills Canada Alberta Entrance Award, and the Jean Haas Scholarship. If you would like to find out more information about these scholarships, you can visit our website at skillsalberta.com or you can scan the QR code here. There are also international travel opportunities. World Skills Competition started in 1946 after World War II threatened a new economic depression in Europe after a huge skills shortage. World Skills Competitions have been held in numerous European cities, Australia, Brazil, Japan, and so many other destinations. Let's take a look to see where our next one is going to be. World Skills Competition will be in Lyon, France, and we have six students who will be attending. I'll share a little bit more information about this later on. Now, an important part of the process is where you have the opportunity to further develop your skill set. This will naturally come through your education at your post-secondary institution, but there are some awesome perks to participating in one of our competitions that will give you that push to be better than other candidates within your field. Skills competitions are a great way to develop personal and professional connections. 
industry experts are directly involved. Not only are there recruiters from your school that are looking for Alberta's most talented, but the committee members who run each competition area are involved with industry and are the ones who are also evaluating student performance. Another advantage of participating in a skills competition as a post-secondary student is that you will receive additional training and support to prepare you for the challenging tasks you will be expected to perform during the competition. In general, the person who is recruiting you will be the one providing this additional training for the provincial competition. Moving on to nationals, you will receive further training from instructors, skills alumni, and provincial technical committee experts. Lastly, if you move on to world skills, you will receive additional training from Canadian-wide industry experts, Olympic coaches, and more. There are also advantages for you after you have competed in a skills competition. So you can include any skills competition on your resume. As I mentioned before, we are well connected with industry experts and they are aware of the dedication and excellence that comes with participating in one of our skills competitions. As you are receiving additional training, you are receiving valuable time and one-on-one -on -one education. This puts your skill level a step above other job candidates. Following a skills competition, you can request a participation letter, which you can add to your portfolio for job applications. In the same vein, you may request a reference to include as you start getting your feet wet and begin searching for future employment. Now, joining our skills competitions will help you to continue learning to develop your skill set and to gain invaluable experience. You will meet other highly talented students who will push you to become the best you can be in your chosen field. So, what does it look like? Where can these competitions take you? This flowchart shows the progression of your skills journey. Something to keep in mind is that you have to be an age-eligible post-secondary student in order to compete in the skills competitions. Following that, you'll go through the Technical Institute selection process, which we are going to dive into in a minute. If you are selected, you would start at the Provincial Skills Canada competition in Edmonton at the Expo Centre on May 8th and 9th of this year. There are 45 different competition areas and the gold medalists from each of these areas will move on to the Skills Canada National Competition. Now, if you are a gold medalist from the provincial competition, you will move forward to the national competition and will be on Team Alberta. You will compete against top competitors from other provinces and territories. As I mentioned previously, this competition takes place in cities across Canada. Last year was Winnipeg and this year will take place in Quebec City from May 27th until June 1st. From there, gold medalists from the national competition will have the chance to compete at a world skills competition. These competitions happen every two years, so there is a qualifying year. We have a world's competition happening this year in Lyon, France, and we're taking six competitors along with us. The following qualifying year is in 2025 to go to Shanghai in 2026. You would be competing against top candidates from all over the world, which is an amazing experience. So hopefully now you have a better idea of what skills is all about. I'm going to walk you through the steps that you're going to need to take to get involved. So how does it work? We're going to start with the Technical Institute selection process and how to compete. The first step to getting involved in the skills competition is to talk to your instructor. You must be endorsed by an instructor in order to compete, meaning you must have support and training from your instructor or school. The recruiters are seeking fully dedicated and committed candidates from their institute to demonstrate excellence in their field. The next step, and this is important, is to check our age eligibility requirements as well as to ensure you are an Alberta resident. You will then go through the application process. The online application is found on our Skills Alberta website. On the home page, you'll click the drop down competitions tab and select the post secondary skills registration tab. 
all of the eligibility requirements needed to compete in the competition and the link to our application form can be found here. You can simply use this QR code to take you right to the post-secondary application form as well. If you have any questions on your application or your application status, please contact our registration coordinator, Javiera DeRossi, who will be more than happy to help you with all your registration needs. Once your application has been reviewed, your instructor will be notified of your application to start providing you with the support and training needed to compete at the skills competition. Now, if there were multiple applications submitted for the same competition, then your instructor must choose the competitor or competitors with the best skill set to represent your school at skills competitions. So let's take a look at the timeline. Our timeline for the skills competition is going to start now. Registration is open and will continue to open up until January 17th, 2024, and our registration drop date is April 10th, 2024. The Provincial Skills Canada competition will take place on May 8th and 9th, 2024 at the Edmonton Expo Centre. Skills Canada National competition takes place on May 27th until June 1st in Quebec City. And then finally, the World Skills International Competition will take place September 2026 in Shanghai, China. Now, what's next? Once you have applied and, a, and are approved to compete in our competition, you must review the contest description and any other competition documents that are located on our Skills Alberta website. Again, under the competitions drop down menu, you will click the event section, which will take you to our competition file section. By choosing the year, competition type, post secondary, and then the trade or technology you will be competing in from the drop down lists, you can find all competition documents that will pertain to your competition. You can also look at past contest descriptions to get a better idea of what types of specific skills will be required. If you have any questions about your competition documents, please contact the Provincial Competition Committee Coordinator, Whitney Coop. Then you'll want to begin your training. If you find that the skills competitions might not be for you or you do not meet the eligibility requirements, we have some other opportunities for you to get involved. Now a huge part of our skills community is our volunteers. By going to our website and clicking on the Get Involved drop-down menu, you can see the wonderful opportunities to be part of as a volunteer with Skills Alberta by clicking that Volunteer Opportunities drop-down menu button. You could join industry leaders and instructors from all over Alberta who facilitate and run the competition. You could be right in the action of it all and join in as a Provincial Technical Committee member who hosts the regional and provincial competitions, or you can sign up to be a judge, general volunteer, or a try a trade volunteer. These are all amazing experiences that will help promote and elevate trades and technologies in Alberta. We have additional programs that you could get involved in as well, all of which you can find on the Skills Alberta website or by scanning the QR code. Now, we have come to the end of the presentation and I would like to thank you for your time today. We have a QR code here to head to the post-secondary application page if you are interested in reading our eligibility requirements or in applying to compete. If you have any general questions, you can either reach out to your instructor or myself and any application questions can be directed to Javiera. Otherwise, you can check out any of our socials for more information. Thanks so much.